how to analyze steel and concrete together in the single star pro model see this was one of the most asked queries by the students in dms can i use direct analysis for steel and p delta for concrete in the same sad file well guess what yes you can and today i am going to show you how to do it step by step even if you have never tried combining these models before. See in today's video, I am going to walk you through exactly how to combine both analysis methods using stats, repeat loads, perform direct analysis, P delta analysis and chain commands all within one clean file. So stay tuned till the end and don't skip a single part. See, let's say you have a steel frame structure sitting on a concrete podium, a pretty common scenario in the rear world building. See, you want to design the steel frame using direct analysis following AI SC360 and you also want to design the concrete columns and beams using P delta analysis as per ACI 318. And here is the catch. See, each material needs its own set of load combination. So let's start with this particular STAT model. Hello, so let's start understand how we can go for the combined analysis. Now, first of all, in the step one, you just need to define the geometry and the materials, right? First of all, model your full structure, both the steel and concrete and assign the steel materials to the upper frame and concrete to the supporting podium. Now, to make you understand, I have considered one of this sample model to make you understand how we can perform the combined analysis over here. In the next step, you just have to go with the assigned property materials, right? So I have assigned certain properties over here. Now for the analysis part here, you have to go with the defined reference load cases for the different case like dead load, live load and wind load. See these loads are reusable so we will combine them later for both steel and concrete separately. Right? So what's your ste first step? Your first step is define the reference load cases. Let's say load 1 for the dead load, load 2 for the live load, load 3 for the wind load in the x direction and load case 4 wind load in the z direction right so in the same way i have developed these cases already to make you understand this quickly right so i'll go to the definition part over here you have this reference load definition from here you can create all these cases okay click on add button and add the cases so making this tutorial a little bit a short otherwise it will be too lengthy i have already defined this cases over here you can add your respective loads depending upon your building say let's say in the dead load i have added self weight and few of the uh, floor load uh, with respect to the range option similarly you can add live load wind load now just to give you an understanding about how you can combine uh, this analysis part i have created this dummy load cases over here right so that's how you can create uh, this uh, reference load definitions over here again i am giving you a reminder that this these loads are reusable okay in reference loads we have added this dead load live load wind load and then these loads are reusable so we will combine them later for both steel and concrete separately in the next step that is step number two define direct analysis for steel members okay so this is your next step define direct analysis for steel members and we will utilize this particular definition for the direct analysis now if i'll show you instead i'll go to the stand model and i'll close this reference load definition i'll click on the direct load analysis i can click on add and here we have this flex parameter and fyld parameter so i need to add this i have already added this flex one and fyld for this particular structure see this particular step is very crucial for the direct analysis method which is called as dam required by AISC 360 right so flex is basically flexural stiffness reduction factor for the second order effects FYLD which stands for your real strength of the steel 
and there is one other component which is called as notional load factor which will simulates out of plumbness and imperfections now see this particular will only apply to the steel members and that's the key for isolating the behavior of your materials all right after this the next step that we have after step 2 is step 3 that is your steel load combination and the notional loads see uh, I have highlighted uh, this particular syntax for your understanding over here okay load case 1012 this will be the repeat load plus notional load and I have provided a syntax over here as well to make you understand okay see these uh, I'll show you this uh, in the stat model as well let me just show you so here if I go so basically you can click on generate let's say you want to generate one case you have to just click on the load case click on add option you have this repeat load option here you have this repeat load reference load and notional load option so from here you can create your relevant case now to just to give you an understanding I have created this reference load case with a 1.2 and 1.6 factor similarly the notional load with the dead load and live load right so that's how you can generate this for each load cases like this okay so see these are basically repeat loads now if you give if I give you an understanding see in 101 let's say I have called a reference load dead low uh, this is your R1 and R2 what is R1 and R2 R1 and R2 over here is your dead load and live load so I have called all the loads from the reference load over here in terms of this reference cases R1 with 1.2 factor and R2 with 1.6 factor see these are repeat loads not simple load combinations why because see repeat loads are analyzed and not just added see this is essential when you want accurate second order effects with the direct analysis every load case includes your ACI load factors let's say 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load and its corresponding notional loads in X or Z to simulate the imperfections I hope uh, this particular detailing is sufficient to understand right and after this okay so after step 3 you have your step 4 that is run your analysis run the steel analysis okay so here you have to add your perform dialect analysis lrfd change command basically you will add this command from your perform analysis segment or you can add this directly in your stat editor as well this command tells stat to run the direct analysis method using lrfd design provisions and this change command resets your stats internal settings this is important because now we are about to switch from steel to concrete okay so this particular is stated over here in your stat model you can click on analysis and see I have added define command as perform direct analysis LRFD with change option over here and I can show you this in stat editor as well you can go to here analysis command perform direct analysis LRFD option right so this is the command that I have added over here from the analysis command perform direct analysis LRFD with peel data iterations so you can add this command with the change option additionally you can check out this particular syntax in your stat editor as well okay I'll show you the stat editor as well it is added after the all the load cases okay it is added after all the load cases that you have defined 
okay i also i will share this particular model with you so it will helpful to you okay so that is your step 4 now after step 4 you we will switch to the next part as i told you the change command resets uh, the stats internal settings and this is important because now we are about to switch from steel to concrete so in the next step you have to go with the define concrete load combinations right again in the same manner with the repeat loads and aci tables right the way we have defined for steel combinations similarly you can go ahead uh, with the concrete load combinations over here right i have generated all the syntax over here and same you can check out in your stat model too so i'll go again uh, here and in the same manner uh, from 202 to further i have added this segment for the concrete part you can check this okay now once you define this concrete part uh, these are the cases for your concrete now we define a new set of repeat loads which is strictly for this particular concrete design using aci load combination table 1 right so basically this load includes typical cases uh, which is like 1.4 dead load 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load then i have again point uh, one of the common segment which is based on your stability check that is point 9 dead load plus wind load you can check all this right so last one is like this okay see there will be no notional loads here see these are true strength design combinations for concrete members i hope you are clear right in the next step we have to go with the let's check out what is the next step so after this concrete load combination the next step is run p delta analysis for concrete okay so we will add similar manner p delta analysis command from the analysis segment so you just have to go in the analysis command then you have to go with the p delta analysis over here and add this particular here in terms of p delta analysis small data right i am showing you all the segment in the step by step form see let me give you an idea see this commands which is the p delta command this command runs a second order p delta analysis according for see This command runs a second order p delta analysis accounting for geometry changes under loading. So basically uh, as you know the 15 count which you are uh, showing over here this particular sets the number of iterations and small delta which helps stat to capture the additional moment due to the small displacement which is perfect for tall columns or frame structures. Right? Then in the next step what is the seventh step? that we have so in the seventh step we have to separate design using the load list option simple right so i have added this load list option as well load list envelope 1 and 2 with the change parameter 1 right then you can add check code for particular members then again load list then start concrete design with code aci right so basically over here load list let me give you an idea let me go with this so basically uh load list envelope 1 and 2 is used for steel design selecting envelopes from the earlier load combos okay and then we change again before switching to concrete so basically it will go with the load list 2012210 start with the concrete design code aci then you have to go with the design beam and design co column commands which are the common parameters right 
so for concrete design we select only 2012210 load cases okay keeping the steel and concrete completely independent in analysis and code checks okay i'll show you the same syntax which i have explained you right now over here in the editor part so you can check out this i have defined the envelope over here then steel design part load list envelope one two then i have added this change command right then we have added parameter right now i have added only few parameters was based but based on your structure you have to identify all other parameters now just to give you demo i have added only few parameters okay so i have added dff over here then you have added check code right so this portion is for your steel design then i have isolated this with the concrete design load list 2012210 start concrete design their parameters let me give you take you to this design tab over here right so here is the parameter 1 dff check code this particular is for your steel design part and then if i quick switch to the concrete part right first was steel part now i have click on the concrete to concrete part design beam design column and concrete design i share this model with you the link will be given in the description box you can check out this particular model for your reference so here is the full strategy to combine both the analysis in one stat pro model step 1 use the reference load for the flexibility step 2 apply repeat loads plus notional loads for steel step number 3 run perform direct analysis for aisc then use change to reset step number 5 apply aci load combos using repeat loads run p delta analysis for the concrete and in the last use load list to filter out the loads for each design section and that's it you have now mastered how to run direct analysis for steel and p delta for concrete in the same stat model clean efficient and code compliant now if you found this video useful smash that like button subscribe for more stat and structural engineering tutorials and drop a comment below if you have tricky stat model you like us to walk through next you can also grab the full stat editor file in the description through the drive links stay tuned for more such updates and always remember don't just learn software learn concepts thank you